In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 3, which is to set the quantity filter. This is an optional step. I will also be showing you how to complete step 4 which is to add products to your list. Click on step 3. This filter is used to filter out low quantity items. Let's say I put my quantity filter to 10, so only products that have 10 or more in stock will be added to my list. Now, click on step 4 to add products to your list. For in-depth detail on how to add products to your list, you can check my other video called, Adding Items to Your List. To recap, you can use any of the filters at the top, and combine it with the filters below it. And the keyword filter. Let's say I want to add items in bulk, for example low shipping. Now, as you see, there are 57,854 products that have low shipping. You can manage the shipping cost with this filter to find products with a shipping cost range of your choice. To add all products, click on the plus list button. By default, out of stock items will not be added, but you can tick the box to add them. There is also a price range filter you can use to add products within a range you entered. Now as you see, the products have been added to my list. Now as you see here, the quantity filter filtered out 4,534 products, because those products do not have a quantity of at least 10. Let's say I change the quantity filter to 1. As you see, 4212 products have a quantity below 1, which means that those items are out of stock. If you click on get count before applying the quantity filter, it will tell you how many products are below your chosen quantity, and will not push those products to your store. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.